Hello, friends. This is Pastor Jerry O'Neill, the Stewardship Director for the Indiana Kentucky Synod of the ELCA. And this is your monthly stewardship snippet for the month of September 2020. And today, I would like to talk with you about the annual stewardship campaign. You may be wondering, but wait a minute. We're in the middle of a pandemic. How can you talk about asking people for money? Well, I'd like to encourage you that this time is as good as any, and maybe even more so, to encourage your folks in generosity. Still have your campaign for this year. The purpose of a campaign is to inspire people to grow in their own generosity and to participate in the mission that you have. Mike Ward, in his wonderful book, Abundance, mentions that in an annual appeal, we should do four things. We should inform people, we should inspire them, we should ask them, and we should thank them. Now, many congregations do a decent job of informing people. We need so much money to meet the budget and that sort of thing. But we rarely get around to inspiring them to show how their giving is making a difference in people's lives. So one of the huge pieces for a good stewardship campaign is to focus on the impact that your ministries are making in your communities. So in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, Paul is encouraging the Corinthian church to give to the collection that he's taking up for the saints in Jerusalem. Their brothers and sisters in Christ were experiencing a severe famine and were deeply in need. And he talks about the Macedonian church, which was a poor church, but who gave powerfully towards this despite it. As he says, for as I can testify, they voluntarily gave according to their means and even beyond their means, begging us earnestly for the privilege of sharing in this ministry to the saints they could see what impact their giving would have, and they wanted to help. And I truly believe, especially in this pandemic, when there is so much need out there, people want to give where they know they can make a difference. So what difference is your congregation making through your ministries? Do you have a food bank? Are you providing assistance through, say, a pastor's discretionary fund? Are, you're certainly doing worship and other things like that in new and different ways here in this pandemic to touch more people with the gospel. Focus on the impact. If you want uh, some help on this, if you go to uh, the gsbfundraising.com website, gsbfundraising.com, Mike Ward has a video there on impact stories or outcome stories that's quite good. The next thing you want to focus on is helping people grow in their generosity. In Psalm 116, verse 12, we are asked to consider this question, what shall I return to the Lord for all the Lord's bounty to me? For many of us, we're doing just fine financially during this pandemic. How has God blessed you? And how might you respond in being a blessing to others through your financial gifts? This growing in generosity, stepping forward in faith in our giving is a learned process throughout our lifetimes. Talk to folks in your congregation who have learned the joy of generosity and share those stories um, and help folks to step into that and invite them to move forward in their generosity. And when they do, they will find their hearts change. As Jesus says in Matthew 6, 21, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. As Mark Allen Powell in his book, Giving to God, discusses, this is a promise that Jesus gives us, that when we put our treasure somewhere in something that God cares about, our heart will follow and we will become more deeply invested in that ministry that God cares so deeply about. Your congregation's ministry. Now, we'll encourage you as we inspire people to give generosity and to see how their giving is making a difference, to be sensitive to those who are facing financial challenges right now. There are folks out there 
who are struggling, people who've lost jobs or lost wages. And in their case, you know, be very sensitive about this. It could be, you know, by the way, if you're struggling financially, reach out to us. We have ways we can support you. That may be part of your call in, in this campaign. But for others who are doing well, encourage them to give towards that so you can make an even greater impact in the world around you. Because the key to this and the reason we want to do this is financial giving is one way we as brothers and sisters in Christ can participate in God's mission in the world. You know, our tagline as the ELCA is God's work, our hands. Well, so true that we can use our hands for God's work in the world. We can also use all of our God-given resources, including our finances for God's work in the world. And that begins right there in your congregation, in your local context. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, in this time of pandemic, you are using your mission centers, your congregations to share the good news in broader and deeper ways. You are feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, giving clothing to the naked, caring for those in need, expanding the reach of the gospel through technology and in so many other ways. We pray, Lord, that your people might be inspired to give generously to support these ministries. Do work your work, O oh Lord, through us, that your love might be shared with all the world. In Jesus' name. Oh, and one last thing before I go. If you'd like some help in working towards an appeal, you are welcome to reach out to me. Uh, my email address, j-o-n-e-a-l at ikcynod.org. Uh, you are also invited to pick up a copy of Mike Ward's book, Abundance. This has some great ideas as well. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in next month's video.